Hey, how's it going everybody? So here is my new Chameleon Chaw F-Loop 3.0. And you might be asking, Justin, you already have an F-Loop 2.0. And, and yes, I do. And it's 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 right here. It's great. Uh, I, used, I used this multiple times. A couple of activations. Obviously, I did a review on that. So if you're curious, go check that out. But Chameleon sent me the F-Loop 3 and I was kind of curious, you know, why? And the secrets of why are in this box. This heart's Delectable squeeze up with chicken senior 10 plus four pack. What secrets do this does this box hold? Well, let's get started and I'll tell you all about it. So what's in this camouflage box is a new product from Chameleon that operates directly with this antenna. It is their remote tuning unit. Yes, very excited about this. So here's a little baggie. Uh, there is a control cable, which we'll be using here shortly. And the brains behind the whole operation is this motor thing that is going to replace the front dial. Uh, I'm going to set this up right now. All right, so we have a real simple status indicator control for tuning. This takes a 9-volt battery. Looks like, oh, a couple different ports. We'll play around with that in a little bit. Looks like potentially there might be some future business in here. It's all manual right now, but looking at some of the connectors, who knows what the future may hold. All right, so the way this works is we're gonna take off these two top screws and we're gonna add a plate after removing the set screw of the control knob and pulling that off. Once we pull that off, the plate goes on and this will hold the mounting structure for this motor assembly, which gets set screwed onto the shaft. So I have all the equipment here to do that. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Whew. There are instructions. I would encourage you to look at them because I'm thinking to myself uh, where the set screw goes for alignment and tightening this after it's all get put together is probably important. So I'm gonna read that now. Okay, so I went ahead and I, I installed the motor assembly. After you have the flange installed here, you can give it a little bit more tightness to kind of hold them together. All right, so how you do this is, is really simple. With the stud just exposed, you take the motor assembly and slide it on. There is a small groove that you align to the top and you use the set Allen head to fit in just like that and tighten it up. Then with it tight, you can add a machine screw here and here, the two smaller ones. Simple, we have a coaxial connection for uh, to the motor and to the power unit here. It goes to the motor labeled side plug and we click on. And so now it is on and this light will periodically flash to let you know that it is in fact on. This is not an automatic tuner. It is a manual tuner. So once you're tuned, you don't need to leave this on. You just turn it off again and that will keep your nine volt battery running for a really long time. Okay, let's test this out. All right, pretty straightforward here. We're gonna turn the box to on. Flashing green light tells us it's on and we're gonna adjust the frequency. Ah, I see the noise just moved away. We got a hundred kilohertz span here. Let's drive it back in. Now I'm in the garage with an awful lot of noise. So you're going to see that even more prominently displayed here, but it makes for an easy demonstration. Those are the gross movements. Let's do the fine tuning. You can see it slightly starts to shift with the fine tuning really, really fine. And if we want to slide quickly, we can go through just like that. Let's change bands to 10 meters. Let's see where we're at. Ooh, comes in like a, <laughs> look at that for noise. Now, again, this is all the electronics, all the camera lights and whatnot that's causing this, right? But you can see just by clicking the gross movement just a bit, we're already out of tune. So bring it back in. Let's bring it back to what we think is the highest intensity. And then we can do something like change the mode of operation to FM. Let's key up with the meter on. So we're gonna look at the SWR. Hey, look at that. I was right on the money. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. And that's all there is to it. You use a mode that has a constant carrier so you can use FM. I prefer FM. AM is similar, but um, it, it's not gonna give you, see, it, it'll give you a false positive. You actually gotta go in here. Uh, uh, uh. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu to do the test. You can't use single sideband for this though. 
As you can see, you got nothing there. You got a whistle. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. You probably don't want to use that. Uh, FM is where it's at for tuning this. Of course, you can plug in a Morse code key and that'll work even faster. Case in point, like this little tiny Morse, CW Morse key here. I'll just key down, straight key mode. Ooh, that's not good. And I'll tap the gross movement. Oh, a little too far. So we already got it down to two to one. Let's see if we can get it in even closer. Oh, wrong way. That's about it. We got it back down to 1.2, 1.3 to one right there. If you're liking what you're seeing so far with the loop antenna and the loop tuning device, there are two coupon codes for this if you'd like to get a 5% discount. For the next 30 days after this video goes live, if you go to Chameleon Antennas, don't worry, the links will be in the description, and you use KI6NAZ Loop 5, you'll get 5% off of the Chameleon F Loop 3.0 package. If you already own an F Loop, you can use a different code. This is KI6NAZ LRT Lima Romeo Tango 5 and get 5% off of that. The reason for the two codes is that they can only do one coupon code at a time when checking out. So if you want the better deal and you want to buy all of it, probably go with the F loop. That's going to be the better way to go. You'll get more of a discount. This is an affiliate code. So yes, you do get 5% off and I also do get a piece of the action. So if you do use this, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And as a reminder, almost everything Chameleon does is made in America. In fact, uh, if you want to go back and look at a video I did at the factory down in Santa Ana, California, I'll post the link and you can check it out. Cool guys over there. Let's find a really powerful station. Coda W5ERX. Let's see if we can get them. Nice. Nice. I'm done with my homework. Well, I'm going to have to check it when I'm done here. I got a negative six for W5ERX. I think he's pretty close, but still, I'll take it. <laughs> not bad, getting hurt all the way down to New Zealand, South America, and the East Coast. Not so much on the West, but all over on the East Coast. Looks like that's kind of the band, uh, it's, it's a little long. Let's take a look at 20 meters here. What's it look like? All right, let's call CQ, see what happens. Okay, KR0P, negative seven. Where they are, 73. So he was there, he just didn't hear me well enough. So we're good, we're very good, all set. The Chameleon Remote Tuning Kit is on sale and it's a pre-sale, meaning it's a pre-release type of purchase. For $299, you could purchase this alongside of with the F-Loop, although you're getting like the first round of this coming off of the manufacturer's floor here. Normally, it's going to sell for $350. Keep that in mind. Reminder, this is the manual remote tuner, right? Obviously you are still gonna have to be the human in the line and you're gonna have to be able to see the SWR readout. I see no reason why you couldn't just have a super, super long coaxial power connector here and uh, run this like up in an attic or something like that. I, I don't know exactly what the maximum length is of this wire, but it's probably pretty long. And then you just use your SWR and your radio because again, you'd have to run the coax too, to run to this. And with that, it'll work just fine. So this is a really cool thing we haven't really had in the world of loops. And some of you are like, well, you know, I can just reach over and do the thing. Why do I need to have this? Well, the thing to keep in mind with loop antennas is when you put your hand in close to it, it actually messes with the tune and you become kind of part of the antenna and you affect the matching that you're doing by adjusting that capacitor. So what often happens is you usually go a bit further left or right of the resonant frequency and then when you take your hand away and you get out of the space of the antenna, it kind of brings it into tune. 
It's something you learn from like doing it often. Uh, with this though, you just have to kind of get far away from the antenna and adjust it as needed until your radio is happy, which is really, really nice. So yeah, quite expensive, but uh, if this is what you're looking for, then this is exactly what's going to get you where you want to be. I have a rumor that they're making an automatic tune device that should connect right into this. So look forward to a future video on that too. Guys, tell me what you think below in the comments on the Chameleon remote tuner for the F-Loop 3. I'll talk to you later. See ya.